Ian Dye, who obviously had to get his banter in first, it was a bit of a deflection. His that was his his attack, his defence was was attacked because he knew he would get it. We used to call him machine guns because his, his lips moved that quickly. He used to wear out a pair a month. So he was the only man that could be on the phone speaking to somebody, speaking to his guy next to him, Johnny Hurts, and it normally was. And when you come in the changing room, he used to look you up and down and slaughter your gear. Scoring against Man United, and for whatever reason, I whipped off my top. And obviously, not being the bronzest of guys, I probably got about, about 100 letters <laughs> from the chicken run saying, If you ever please let us do warning that you're going to take your top off so we can have a sunglasses ready, because it was nearly like getting snow blindness when you took your top off. So, nah, that was, uh, yeah, down at West Ham, we always had a bit of banter, you know, with the crowd, they always. Um, the Cockneys like to have a, a little bit of banter sometimes, it was a bit close to the mark, but um, on the whole it was um, a good sort of humorous banter. A little bit worried about where Man City's going, obviously they've got the money, but let's hope they don't lose their soul. I thought it was the wrong decision, you know, obviously I thought Mark Hughes was doing a good job, he was in the semi-final of the Cup, they are thereabouts in the league. Um, I think what really did for Mark was, you know, a few of his signings weren't really performing as they thought they would do, and I think that's probably one of the major contributors why why they got rid of him. But for me, being British, you know what I mean, there's a dearth of, of British managers getting a chance, and I don't think Mark Hughes was given anywhere near long enough. I think at the back still, there's still a, a, a nagging doubt that they ain't as secure at the back. Um, it's just around finding the right formation. You know, I think obviously Mancini now goes with primarily two holding midfielders, a bit more continental approach. But I think, you know, they have got the players that, that can have a bit of variation. They have got good width and Sean Wright Phillips and um, the lad they bought from Middlesbrough, Adam Johnson. So they have got that, that flexibility and I, I just think it's, it's that that will get them pushed into fourth. Let's not look beyond this season because if they go down, it will be an absolute catastrophe. I've been there when, when you when you go down. We've had we had to sell Canuti, De Canio, Cole, Johnson. You know, I mean, it just it just rips the heart of yours, and, and your best players will definitely go. Your likes of Parker will have to go, Upson will have to go, Cole will have to go. You know what I mean? So it, it, it'll be a, be a nightmare. So fingers crossed they can just you know I think they've got enough quality to to, to stay up. I'd say Roy Keane and Vieira, you know what I mean, possibly. With The, the other thing is Paul Ince was very quick for a midfielder, you know what I mean, he had, he had great, great turn of pace, so it was difficult. You even had the likes of Carlton Palmer. Cole, how hard was it to get away from them legs? You thought you were, away, you thought you were about 20 yards away and he tackles you with one of them big spider legs. Yeah, definitely a toss-up between him and Parlo, the canio, you know, in terms of natural ability. Um, probably Georgie just didn't fulfil his talent and didn't have the necessary desire to work hard without the ball. You know what I mean? And all the great players are good. I think you know the role model is for me is Ryan Giggs. You know what I mean? Uh, best player in the Premiership over what 19 years, but his work rate and his honesty is fantastic. You know, and that he is the he is for me is the complete player, is the best player. Um, the Premiership has seen. Oh, it wasn't my game. Get it and give it. Tackle it, get it and give it. Give it to the flair players, as they say. i never forget that there. I remember trying to trick at Man City and God rest his soul, Alan Ball came, came running out. He goes, Stevie Lomas, that ain't your game. Give it to Georgie King Classy. And I give it to Georgie, and I think he ran up and beat about 10 players. And, and I remember Alan Ball go, going to me and told you, told you.